welcome to my class. So I had to change location today. Um, I'm in my daughter's room because downstairs is currently being occupied. So uh, it looks a little bit different and I'm near a window so I'm not so sure about the lighting but hopefully it all works out. Um, this is going to be a vinyasa flow. Lots of different movement, lots of different waves of movement, so do what you can. Um, I just came up here with my yoga mat and water, so no props unless you know that you need props. Break, take breaks, pause, child's pose, whatever you need to do, and um, have fun. Let's begin. So let's go ahead and start on our back body. What I'd like you to do is bring your knees wide, feet together, and then lie down. Open your palms to the sky, lift the chest, draw the shoulder blades in close, and then release back down. Let the body surrender. Feel those parts of the body that are making contact with the earth below, and see if they can become heavier. Coming deeper down into the earth, like a heavy weight. Begin to elongate your inhales and elongate your exhales. Let's take a deep breath in. Hold the breath in the upper chest. And then exhale slowly out the mouth. Two more times. Inhale into the heart. Hold. Release. One more time, inhale, pause, exhale. Bend the elbows, place your hands on your low belly, and now take an inhale into the low belly, filling up. Pause, and then let the belly deflate on your exhale. Two more times, inhale, belly lift. Hold, exhale, belly deflates. One more time, inhale, belly rises. Pause, exhale, belly softens. Now bring your hands to your lower ribs, fingertips pointing towards each other and start to breathe into your midsection, in and out of the nose. Allowing the out breath to be longer than the in breath. Feeling the ribs opening up towards the edges of the mat when you inhale. And then coming back towards midline when you exhale. Three more rounds of breath. your arms into a cactus, elbows in line with shoulders, backs of the hands on the floor. Walk your feet to the edges of the mat and windshield wiper the knees from right to left. Simple twist. Come back to neutral, walk your feet hips distance apart and then cross the right ankle over the left thigh and gently draw the knees towards the chest. Flex at the feet and press the right knee away from your body. So we're not gonna grab onto the leg or anything just yet, keeping it light. And then release the left foot down, bend the right foot, left ankle crosses over right quad, flex both feet and draw your knees gently towards your chest. Press your left knee away from your left shoulder. And then release both feet to the earth. Draw your knees towards your heart. Place your hands on your knees. Glue your knees together and start to circle the legs to the right. Stirring a pot of soup. And then the next time the knees come over your heart space, circle to the left. Opposite direction, massaging the sacrum, releasing tension through the lumbar spine. Bring your knees back over your heart. 
hands on her thighs. Let's roll front to back the entire length of the spine. Let's do this three to four times. And then meet on your seat, top of the seat. Walk, or not walk, but place the right ankle over the left thigh. Sit up nice and tall. So similar to what we just did on our backs. But let's start to rock our hips right to left. Seated pigeon. We will be opening the hips today in lots of different ways. And then let that, let that go and bring left ankle over right thigh. If you need more space in your hips, walk that right foot further forward. And then let's take the movement from right to left. Keeping the left foot flexed and the heart lifted. All right, now let's come into a cross-legged seat that's comfortable for you. So that could be crossing at the ankles or a half lotus, either foot to opposite hip crease, untuck the glutes, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. Exhale, roll back and down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower one more time. Lift and squeeze. Exhale, press back and down. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press your arms down by your sides. Let's do that again. Inhale, shoot the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift. On your exhale, come into a T with the arms. Flex at the wrists. And let's roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Keeping your hands active, let's start to open the torso right to left, twisting through. Two more. Last time, right, left. Come back through center, breathe in. Exhale, tip to the right. Forearm or palm to the earth, left arm along ear. Send your gaze underneath your left underarm. And then pull the lower belly in and up. Inhale, rise back up through that T. Exhale, tip to the left. Opening up the right side, looking right, letting your shoulders soften down the back. Inhale, back through that T. Exhale, circle arms back, interlace fingers, and draw your knuckles down towards the earth. See if you can get your palms to touch. Keep your tailbone tracking down. And then let's bow the chin towards the chest to stretch the back of the neck. Lift the gaze, keep your hands behind you, bend the elbows, bring your hands into a prayer. And then walk that prayer higher up to the space between the shoulder blades. Press your elbows and shoulders back. And make sure your low belly is firm. Inhale. Exhale, release right ear to right shoulder. Keep pressing the shoulders back, lifting through your heart. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, tip to the left. arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands. Roll over your knees. Let's meet on hands and knees for tabletop. Walk your hands slightly forward of the shoulders. Your knees are under your hips. Spread the fingers wide. Index fingers point forward. Inhale, drop your belly. Lift your heart. Lift your hips. Exhale, round. Arch, hollow out the back. Inhale, drop the belly. Look up. Exhale, round, arch. Keep going, moving through cat-cow. If there's any extra movement you'd like to add here, maybe a child's pose, maybe bending deeper through the elbows, barrel rolls, shifting your hips side to side, whatever feels natural and organic, 
give your body the movement that it would like. And let's take one more round. Come back to a neutral spine. Tuck your right toes under. Listen carefully. We're going to pivot that right foot to the right off the mat. So onto your carpet or wood floor. Send the left leg down the mat so the heel is in line with that right knee. And then reach the right arm along the gear. Gate pose. Soften the shoulders. And then let's float that top leg. Bend the knee. Circle right arm back, catch your foot or ankle, push your hips forward, and then send your gaze down towards your right foot. Feel that low belly active. Using your core strength here. And then release. Let's reach out and pause. Inhale and exhale, release back to hands and knees. So let's do the same thing on the left side. Tuck your left toes under, pivot that left foot off the mat, then straighten the right leg down the left side of the mat, heel in line with knee, send the right arm along the ear, gazing underneath right underarm. Float the right leg, keep the foot flexed, Keep your tail slightly tucked and then bend left knee or right knee. Circle right arm back, catch your foot or ankle, push your hips slightly forward and look down towards your left hand. Let's release. Straighten arm and leg, hold. And then come back through hands and knees. Walk the hands forward, a palm print. Tuck your back toes under and elevate your sits bones all the way up to the ceiling for our first down dog. Pedaling out the legs, shifting your hips right to left, keeping a soft bend in the elbows, letting your head circle out. Again, those movements that feel good in the body. Inhale, high plank, top of a push-up, hips in line with shoulders, push the floor away. You can bring the knees down for a modification. Exhale, hips back up to the ceiling, down dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, bend elbows and lower to belly. Bring your hands in line with your heart. Push down into the feet. Elbows point to the ceiling. Inhale, roll up through cobra. Exhale, come back down. Push into the feet. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, lower. Last time, roll up through cobra. Exhale, come back down. Tent your fingertips at the top edges of the mat. And then straighten the arms, opening the heart, open throat, look to the sky, push down into the feet. Last in breath. Exhale, return to the belly. Hands in line with the heart. This time we're going to push into the hands, straighten the arms, lift your legs, lift your knees and hips. Push down into your fingertips, upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, walk, float, or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, push your shins against your hands, lengthen out the crown of the head, and exhale, forward fold. Ground down through your heels, inhale, reverse one, dive the arms overhead, palms touch. And exhale, hands to heart. Okay, moving on. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back through plank. Inhale, 
Exhale, lower chaturanga. Shoulders stop at elbows. Inhale, back bend. Knees up for up dog, knees down for cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg to the ceiling. Send your right heel high. Scissor in your inner thighs. And soften the left heel towards the earth. Push the floor away. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to nose. Curl forward into plank. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Shift body forward. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step between the hands. Ground your left heel. Feet are in line with the outer hips. Draw the right hip back. And then circle sweep your arms up to your ears for warrior one. Front knee over ankle. Tuck your tail. Soften the shoulders. Breathe in. On your exhale, airplane, lower torso. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Sink your hips towards your back heel. Flex the front foot. Hands come to the heart. Skandasana. Ninja skater pose. And then let's re-bend the right knee. Stack knee over ankle and windmill open to the left for warrior two. Make sure your hip bones are on the same plane. Send your tailbone down. Circle the shoulders back. Look over your right middle finger. Inhale. Exhale, hinge the torso forward. Bring right forearm to right thigh. Left hand behind the head. And then open your chest, pointing left elbow to the ceiling. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg. Right hand to shin, ankle, or floor. Left arm up to the ceiling. Triangle pose. Draw the heels towards each other. Lift your kneecaps. Then bring a soft bend into your right knee. Right hand in front of right foot. Load up the right leg. Float the left. Half moon. Ardha Chandrasana, stacking hips, flexing left foot towards the left long edge of the mat. And then if you'd like to add a little challenge here, bring your left hand to your heart and then your right hand to your heart. Balancing on that right leg. I am way too close to this bed. Inhale. Exhale, left foot comes forward to the top of the mat. Chair pose. Sink your hips. Tuck your tail. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down. Either step back through plank. Jump back through chaturanga with bent elbows, lower. Inhale, back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and let the breath go. Inhale, left leg up. Draw the toes to point down to the floor. Your right heel is soft. Push into fingertips, knuckles, and Palms. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to nose. Bring your upper body forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, coil into plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step between the hands. Ground the right heel. Again, feet in line with outer hips. Draw the right hip forward, left hip back. Circle, sweep your arms up to your ears. Tuck your tail. Stack shoulders over hip points. One more breath in warrior one. Breathe in. Exhale, lower airplane. Inhale, come back up, warrior one. Exhale, bend right knee, sink the hips, left toes flex to the sky. Hands come to your heart. 
Skandasana. Inhale, exhale, rebend left knee, windmill open to the right, warrior two. Pelvis is neutral, left knee pressing wide, shoulder circle back. Look over your left middle finger. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward, bring left forearm to left thigh, right hand behind the head, elbow point to the ceiling, open your heart here. And then knit your lower ribs down so you're supporting that third chakra. One more breath, solar plexus protected here. And then start to straighten left leg, left hand to shin, ankle or floor, right arm up to the ceiling, lengthen out the crown of the head. Dip in your inner thighs, guide the heels towards each other. And then soft bend in the left knee, left hand in front of left foot, load up the left leg, float the right. Right toes flexing towards that right long edge of the mat. Stay here or bring your right hand to your heart and then your left hand to your heart. Balancing on the left leg, best you can, see what happens. And then release right foot to the top of the mat, chair pose, squeeze the glutes. Look down at your toes. Can you see them? If you can't, you got to send your hips even further back. Inhale, rise up, straighten arms and legs. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, walk or float back through chaturanga, lower, vinyasa, back bend, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, breath. Okay, we're going to do that again. Faster. Let's see what happens. Keep an open mind. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, step between the hands, ground left heel. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, skandasana to the back of the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle with the hand behind the head. Inhale, triangle pose, straight in front leg. Exhale, half moon. Float the left leg, stack the hips. Hands come into a prayer at the heart. Breathe in, exhale, chair pose, top of the mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, plank or chaturanga, lower. Back bend. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Let the breath go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through. Ground right heel. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior two, open to the right. Inhale. Exhale, side angle, left hand behind head. Inhale, trikonasana, triangle. Exhale, half moon. Hold here. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, right foot comes to the top of the mat. Chair pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank or chaturanga, lower. Back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Take a child's pose if you need to. OK, 
Okay, let's do that one last time. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee comes forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, half moon. Hands to heart. In breath. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa, or skip it if you're tired. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last time. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Lift the leg. Step through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, half moon. Hands to the heart. Breathe in. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart, breath. Draw your tailbone down. Thumbs to sternum, breath in. Breath out. Once more. Inhale, arms up. Interlace the thumbs. Exhale, tip to the right. Spread the fingers. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, tip left. Look underneath your right underarm. Inhale, back through center. And exhale, swan dive into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Tip back and pause. Palms together, chin towards the back of the throat, hold. Keep drawing your tailbone down. And then hands to heart. Okay, load up the left leg, bring right ankle over left thigh, and then sink your hips back, bending through the left knee. Now maybe you stay here, maybe you bring your forearms to your right shin, or bring your hands to the earth underneath your shoulders, bowing chin towards chest. Draw the low belly in. And then start to rise up. Right knee in front of right hip bone. Add branches, arms frame face. And then lock low belly in and straighten right leg. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower the right heel towards the floor and behind you, and I'm crashing into a wall for warrior three. Toes point down to the mat. And then come back through center and release. We're loading up the right leg, left ankle over right thigh, sink into that right hip. Stay here, forearms to left shin, hands to the earth, right knee is bent, and your head releases over the right leg. Draw navel towards spine, and then let's rise up. Left knee in front of left hip bone, arm circle sweep up to the head. Pull that lower belly in, straighten the left leg. Inhale, exhale, guide the left heel down and back. Warrior three. Toes point down to the floor. I'm kind of cheating because I'm too close to the wall. That's okay. 
and then let's come back through. Mountain pose, arms by your sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Hug your arms behind your legs, forehead towards shins. Bend the knees here. Feel your belly, maybe your chest connect with your thighs. Send all your energy down the legs, to your roots, to the earth below. Release the hands onto the mat underneath the shoulders. Send the right heel to the sky. Toes point down. Start to think warrior three in the body where the spine is long and the arms are straight. And then twist your torso and left arm up to the ceiling. Maybe you gaze up towards your left arm. Inner thigh squeeze. Right toes point down. Squeeze right glute. Okay, hold this, but send the right leg to the left, off of the mat, onto your floor, and reach the arms up to the ceiling. I'm going to face my computer so you can see me. It's like a side lunge. Breathe in, exhale, little curtsy. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. One more time. Come back through, plant the hands underneath the shoulders. Send the right leg back up to the ceiling, and then we're going to soar the right leg to the sky and draw the left knee towards the chest. Load up the shoulders. Here we go. Lift. And then see what happens. Maybe you just try three times. Maybe you've got the energy for a fourth. And then whenever you're good and done, Send your right foot to the very back of the mat. Circle, sweep the arms up to the ears, high lunge. If you need more space, widen the distance between the feet. Right heel is lifted, right leg is straight. Breathe in, exhale, airplane. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist your arms open to the left. And then let's tip back. Left arm back towards right thigh, right arm along the ear. Tuck your tail. Inhale the arms up to the ears. Exhale, circle arms back, interlace the fingers, and draw your fist down towards your right heel. Shoulder blades together and down. Okay. Start to point all ten of your toes to the right long edge of your mat. I'm turning around so you can see me better. Keep your hands together. Soft knees push through the outer edges of the feet. Wide-legged forward fold. Release the head from side to side. Let gravity take over. Hands to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift and stay. Left hand under face. Reach the right arm to the ceiling, twist open. Try to neutralize the weight between the legs. And then let's swap out the arms. Right arm down, left arm up. Last breath in. Exhale, release. Heel toe your feet until they're slightly wider than hips distance apart. Sink your hips to your heels, Malasana squat. Press the elbows against the inner legs. Lengthen out the top of the head. Take another breath. And then let's open up the arms. Energy is shooting out your fingertips. Open your heart. Smile, I am so sweaty. Hands come back to the heart. Dip the right elbow, send the left elbow to the ceiling, and then let's twist open to the left. Flex the hands, and then circle the arms back. For three, two, 
One, release, hands down, hips up, toes point forward, heel toe feet, hips distance apart, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, inhale, reverse swan dive, tip back, and exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift your prayer. Exhale, lead with the heart. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down. Plank or chaturanga. Lower back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and get to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stay here. Hands to the earth. Load up the right leg, send the left heel to the ceiling. And then lengthen spine and arms, think warrior three. Continue to have the left toes pointing down and then open the torso and right arm to the ceiling. Maybe the gaze follows your right hand. Squeeze left glute. Whew. One more breath and revolve half moon. Okay, hold this shape. Send your left leg over to the right, off the mat. We're coming into that side lunge. Arms up by the ears. Inhale, exhale, bend, little plie. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift and lower. Come back through. Hands to the floor. Left leg to the ceiling. Plant the hands, load up the shoulders. We're gonna soar the left leg to the sky, right knee to chest. Here we go. Handstand prep. Try three to four times. And then we're gonna send the left foot to the back of the mat. Heel is lifted. Circle sweep the arms up to the ears for that high lunge. On the right side, tuck the tail. Breathe in, exhale, airplane. <sighs> Inhale, come back up. Exhale, open or twist to the right. Pause. Keep drawing your right hip back. Then right hand to left thigh, left arm along ear, tip back. Reach the arms up to the ears. Circle the arms back, interlace the fingers, non-dominant forefinger on top. Send your fist towards your left heel. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to point all 10 toes to the left long edge of the mat and fold inside the legs. Let the head become a heavy weight that's drawing you down. Micro bending at the knees, pushing through the outer edges of the feet. Keep the arms as they are, open your chest to the right. Twist. Come back through center, open your chest to the left. Back through center and release the hands now. So let's take a few moments where you can play. If you'd like to walk your hands behind your legs, behind your calves. Maybe you bring your head to the earth, lift the legs up to the ceiling, coming into a shoulder stand, head stand. Maybe you'd like to reach your arms forward and drop your chest down in a version of downward dog. Whatever you'd like to do, let's take five more rounds You're inverted, start to slowly come back into your wide-legged forward fold. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders, heel toe your feet, back to that outer hips distance apart. Sink your hips to your heels and let's come back through Malasana. Push the arms wide, open your heart.
hands to heart, dip the left elbow, lift the right elbow, open up to that T shape, flex the hands, and then let's circle the arms back. For three, two, one, arms down, hips up, toes point forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, tip back. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, plank or chaturanga. Back bend, exhale, down dog, knees to the mat, big toes touch, child's pose, take rest. Let the shoulder soften down the back body. And let's make our way onto hands and knees. Swing your legs either to, over to either side. Come onto your seat. Feet on the floor, knees point to the ceiling. Windshield wiper the legs from right to left. Okay, straighten the left leg wide off the mat. Turn your face this way so you can see me better. And you're gonna take your right shin up towards your chest going to become like a little baby. And as you sit up tall, we're going to cradle that baby side to side. And then take your right hand to the outer edge of the right foot and draw the knee back towards the right underarm. So it's kind of like a seated half happy baby. And then just a little pulsing back, opening up that right thigh. And release, right leg long, left shin to chest, find your baby, and let's cradle our baby side to side. And then same thing, left hand to outer left foot, draw the knee back towards your left underarm, lift your heart. Okay, bring a bend to the right knee. What you're going to do is take the right hand to the outer edge of the left foot, bring your left arm underneath the left leg and try to walk that left leg up towards the shoulder as high as you can. And then straighten the left arm underneath the thigh and start to straighten the left leg, taking a peek underneath your right underarm for compass pose. And you can keep that left knee as bent as you need to. So we don't want to be too forceful here. Just breathing into the opening, whatever that looks like today. No judgment or expectation. And then release. Bring that left leg down. And let's do the same thing on the right side. So you're going to take your left hand to the outer edge of the right foot right arm underneath right leg. Start walking that leg up the arm towards the shoulder. Straighten the right arm underneath the thigh. And then start to open the right leg to the right. And take a peek underneath the left underarm. And one side might be more open or tighter. This is definitely my more open side. And again, no forcing, just see what happens. Just observing, noticing, and then let it go. Good job. Let's windshield wiper again. Okay, let's cross at the ankles, circle the arms up and back, fingertips point back. Lift your hips, open the heart, drop the head back if that's safe on your neck. And then release your seat. 
cross at the ankles, hands under thighs, we're going to rock and roll front to back. And on this last one, come through plank position, chaturanga, back bend, downward facing dog. Okay. From downward facing dog, inhale right leg up, bend knee, stack hip, hold here. Take another breath. Inhale right leg to the sky, exhale right knee to nose. Shoot the right leg to the left. Come on to the edges of the feet. Left arm up. Inhale, pulse hip up. Lower, pulse up. Lower, last one. Left hand down, right leg back up. Bend the knee. And then shift your shoulders over your wrists. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Right foot to the left side of the mat. Setting up for pigeon pose. But we're going to activate through that right foot, press down into your right shin, and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Use that right shin to find elevation. Return your hands to the earth. Bend the left knee. Circle the left arm back. Catch your foot, heel towards glute. Now maybe you stay here, enjoying the quad stretch. Or maybe you bring that foot to your inner left elbow, point your fingertips to the sky, take the right arm up along the ear, and find a bind. Push the back of the head into the right arm. Mermaid. Let's release. Come on to your forearms. Tuck your left toes under, float the left knee, and then send the right leg back to forearm plank. Hips in line with shoulders. Spread the fingers wide and look at your thumbs. Your shoulders are over your wrists. Oh boy. And then start to walk your feet towards your elbows. Keep gazing forward, shoulders away from ears. Right leg up, bend knee, stack hip. Hold. Release. Walk back into your forearm plank. Up onto your palms. Exhale, down dog. Breath in. Sigh out. Okay. Here we go. Next side. I need to come closer to you, otherwise there's a wall in my way. Left leg up, bend knee, stack hips, soften right heel. Dip the left shoulder down so the shoulders are neutral. <sighs> Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Shoot the left leg over to the right. Come on to the edges of the feet. Right arm up. Inhale, lift hip. Lower, lift hip. Lower, one more pulsation. Right hand down, left leg up, bend knee, stack hip, guide shoulders over wrists, and then left knee to left wrist, left foot over to the right edge of the mat. We're going to stay high up here, so you need to flex the left foot, push down into the left shin, reach your arms up to the sky. Hands come back to the mat, right knee bends, circle right arm back, catch the foot, heel to glute. Now maybe you're staying here. That is perfectly fine. Maybe you're bringing that foot inside of the right elbow crease. Fingertips reach up, left arm along ear, option for a bind, push your head back. Keep that left foot flexed. It's going to help you maintain balance. Open your chest forward. And then let's release. Forearms to the floor. 
We got to do the other side. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee. Send the left leg back to forearm plank. Woo! Walk your feet in towards your elbows. Dolphin pose, and then left leg up, bend knee, stack, hip open to the right, breath. Walk your feet to the back of the mat, forearm plank, regular plank, down dog, <sighs> knees to the floor. Have a seat on your heels, inhale, arms up. Exhale, circle, arms back, interlace the fingers, and push your knuckles down towards your hip heels. Keep your shoulders over your hip points, and then make sure that low belly is firm. Pelvis is neutral. And release. Step the left foot forward, and then the right, forward fold, but slowly roll all the way up to standing. Mountain pose. Draw the tailbone down, close your eyes. Okay, one more standing posture. Crossing right ankle over left thigh, and maybe you're hanging out here in a standing figure four. Maybe you're starting to lift that right shin up towards the chest. So this is literally what we just did. Pigeon pose, but standing. Opening up through that right hip. Lifting the heart, softening the shoulders. Balance, balance, where are you? And release, same thing on the other side. Maybe you're balancing in a standing figure four or lifting that left shin up towards your heart. Cradling that baby. Breathe and smile. That's my advice. Breathe and smile. And release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer through midline, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, come on to your knees, swing your legs over to the right, and then find your seat. We're almost done. Send your left leg to the left, off of the mat, keep your right knee bent, toes pointing up, remove the glutes from under your seat, and then inhale the arms up, and on your exhale, we're going to twist towards the right, towards the knee. Keep the left foot active. Toes pointing to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows. Twist a little bit more. Good. Now release that twist. Right leg reaches out to the right. Left foot plants. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist towards the left knee. Lift your chest. Right foot is pointing up to the ceiling. Breathe in, exhale, twist a little bit more. And release, round the feet on the floor. Lengthen the heart, lengthen the spine, and roll all the way down to your back body. Once you arrive, let's bring Hands to opposite shoulders in front of the chest. Lift your torso, and we're going to start tapping through the legs. I'll tell you when to stop. All right, from here, we're going to straighten the legs forward. Reach your arms forward. Low boat pose. Keep the legs as they are. Reach your arms along your ears. 
and release down. Feet on the floor, windshield wiper the legs. Right to left, right to left. Okay, we're gonna do one final thing, and then it's Shavasana, a back bend. So this could be a restorative bridge with a block or a sturdy pillow underneath your low back. Two, it can be bridge pose. Three, it can be a full wheel. So I already guided you through that restorative bridge block or sturdy pillow underneath your sacrum. For bridge pose, guide, walk your heel towards your sits bones, feet are parallel and toes are pointing forward. Start to lift your hips up to the sky. Scooch your shoulder blades towards each other, interlace the fingers and press your fists and forearms down. Squeeze your glutes, heart towards chin. For another variation here, lift your hips higher, place your hands underneath your glutes, and then your hands are at a 90 degree angle, supporting your glutes. And since your hands are right there, squeeze the glutes. And the hands can really feel that activation. And if full wheel is in your practice, bring your hands by your ears, fingertips pointing to heels, lift up onto the crown of the head, and then straighten the arms, guide the knees towards each other, and draw the chest towards the back edge of the mat. Five more breaths wherever you are. Release back down to the back body. Hands to low belly, feet are planted, knees point up, inhale, fill up low belly, pause, exhale, inhale, fill up low belly, pause, release, breath, one more time. If your body needs anything extra, a twist. Happy baby, whatever you'd like, please take it. Release your arms down by your hips. Let the windshield wiper the knees one last time. And like I said, if your body needs anything extra, please take it. Otherwise, you're straining the arms and the legs off the edges of the mat, closing the eyes, finding rest. Please stay if you can. This is the most important part of your practice. Let me bring everything inward and connect with our true self.
the body and the breath. your head from shoulder to shoulder. Draw your knees to your hearts with your body and embrace. Allow the entire spine to connect with the floor below. One to your right side and to a side mind child pose. Take a moment to reconnect. you're ready. Rise up into a comfortable seat on your mat, keeping the eyelids heavy. Let's create a lotus mudra at the heart, connecting the outer edges of the hands, opening the fingers wide as if you were holding a cup or a flower. Let's find an inhale. Let the breath Pour out of the mouth and into that cup. Go into yourself. Thank yourself for showing up, for filling up your cup with energy, love, breath, and movement. The light in me honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining.